If you would like to see what caused me to make this face and hint it wasn't your mum. And if you want to see what caused me to make this face. And of course, if you want to see the near catastrophic Code Brown incident, I know that's why you clicked on the video, you sick then be sure to stick around. But alas, our story today must start where many adventure stories start. We are looking for the fabled crafting item, the old reliable, the present in every survival game ever, and an S tier item. I am of course talking about duck tape is the only thing that's holding me back right now. I've built this beautiful shelter, but I don't have any duct tape to make a bed so that I can sleep in the shelter. At the moment, the only thing that we have is this thing that we can save and we can uh, we can sleep. So I need to get duct tape. But I don't think that we can craft duct tape. I think you have to find it. And in which case, we then might need to explore in order to get the duct tape. Ah, God damn it. Right, it's currently 10.22. I've got a little bit of daylight. I think what we'll do is we'll go down to the coast and we'll have a look up and down the up and down the coast i'm thinking having a shelter without being able to sleep in it is like having a delicious homemade pecan pie with cold custard and squirty cream and not being able to eat it priority number one was to find the tape by going out on adventure but whilst we were doing this i was to set up kelvin to get us some logs we could make a log storage device which stores logs and kelvin could slave away at filling it while i was out of my travels we also built ourselves a fish trap that will be able to trap fish whilst I was out and about. This resource automation is the reason I am a professional survival game player. And it's also the reason that you should like and subscribe. Thank you very much. But whilst I am an elite video gamer, I am also a pussy. The thought of being caught away from our home in the dark was not a very appealing one. By now it was mid-afternoon, and I figured that I would start building some defences around the temporary shelter and hit the coast the following day. Right, what we need to do then is figure out... I'm not a pussy, I promise. I'm, I'm quite brave. My mum says I'm well brave. But what we need to do is press the right button to bring this up, and we want to get a wall of some sort, so I think that's on this side. Yeah, doors. Well, no, we don't, we don't want to build the whole defensive walls because they're going to be really resource-heavy, and because... We're not going to be staying here for too long. No, we don't want to waste any time, do we? We don't want to waste any time. Electricity! We ain't there yet. Shit, no, it might have to be the defensive wall. I think it's going to have to be. Now, you know what? We're not in a rush at all. We're going to take our time, and I'm going to make some defensive walls. That's what we're going to do. Defensive wall. Right, so it's one. Put them together. Okay. Now, we might not actually need to do too many because ah here we go like this like one two and I'm thinking just literally to here and then to there and then like that to just there how do we get in, you ask? Really good question. How do I get in? A good question. One which we will find the answer to later. As you see, any questions were quickly eradicated from my thoughts when we had an unwelcome visitor. What are you pointing at? The deer. <gasps> oh, shit! What the fuck? How did they get here? I didn't hear them at all. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Back off, back off. Shit, 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 shit. No, don't. Don't be here. Please don't be here. Leave. Le Three. Leave. Leave. Please. This is why I need the defensive. Oh. Oh, oh there's loads of them. There's, like, there's one over in the distance. That's four. I don't want... Ooh, I don't want to give them a reason to attack me. I think we just build this quickly. But then again, we can't build the feck. Thunder! 
Oh, it's gonna... Oh. Oh, this is quite cool. Hello. Oh! Please piss off. Please piss off. Oh, shit. Nah, come on, man. Don't throw... Look, listen. I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to count to three. And you need to piss off. One. They pissed off? Kind of. That's fine. They can have the perimeter. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. There's so many of them. <gasps> Shit! Oh, that was lightning. Okay. I don't know why, but that made my eyeballs dry instantly. Do I try and sleep? Wait, let me save the game. Let me save the game. That's a good idea. Can we sleep? Oh, we slept. We slept through. Oh, shit. I'm thirsty, though. <gasps> Kelvin! Oh. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. We had survived another night. And surviving the night troops is a reason for celebration. Waking up from a sleep is severely underrated, and I wasn't going to take this for granted. On this morning's agenda was to head out in search for tape, but not before I built a door. Originally, I had tried to build a gate of sorts from my fragmented memory of my previous playthrough, but I couldn't figure it out. Instead, we stacked logs together to make a good old classic door, and we even put ourselves a lock on it. This meant that we had a full shelter, a defensive wall, and a door. Now, we just needed the tape for the bed. We set off on our adventure, leaving behind our safety and inching forward into the unknown. And it wasn't long until we stumbled across what looked like a camp. I can hear something. Oh! I forgot about this. Sorry. I thought for a second I was in a music video then. We got a jukebox though. No bloody um, duct tape. Oh, tape, come on. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, no duct tape this time. So our quest must continue. And we continued in the direction of the coast. Oh. Okay, maybe let's go to the beach. The only reason I'm saying in the beach is because it's open, and if there's any boats, I'm able to see them from a distance. And the boats might have duct tape or something in it, I don't know. Oh! <gasps> what the fuck? That tarp? It is! It's tarp! What the hell is... What did I say? Boats and hoes, baby. Come on. Can I get some duct tape, please? Can I get some duct tape? Please. 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 <gasps> yes. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, that's all I needed. That is literally all I needed. That's all I needed. I genuinely might head back now. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's only one o'clock still. Right. That's it. We head back. We make the bed. And then that's our foundation set. That's our foundation set. We can build upon that. We've got a secure place to sleep. Call me boring, I do not care. We headed straight back home and immediately crafted our bed. This now meant that we could sleep and save within the protection of our home. Speaking of protection, it was soon to be tested as our building had evidently been causing some curiosity from the local population. Nope, next track maybe. She's gone. There's a couple of them. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. 
Listen. If you... Listen. Don't try it. Don't try... Don't try it. We could be friends. Maybe we can work together. Ah, that wasn't me! You literally walked over the fire pit. Look, you're about to do it again. I don't know why. But I am compelled to bark. See? Oh. Listen, you're far out. Oh, this guy, he... <laughs> oh, he's coming, isn't he? Listen, we don't have to hurt each other. Oh no, you've done it now. Oh, you've done it now. Shit. Fuck. No! Am I dead or am I knocked out? Oh, what the fuck? Wait. Oh no. They've captured me. Oh, fuck. Please don't be far. Please don't be far. Please don't be far. Okay, we're, no, we're not too far. Wait, we can get all of this stuff quick. Are we, are we out of all of that? What's that? Oh, is that my backpack? Okay. Shit, do they have, like, any other items? What the f is that? I don't have a cooking pot or anything. What time is it? Oh shit, it's about to go dark. Oh shit, it's about to go dark. Oh, my health is low. Leggy! Leggy, help me! Help. It's okay. No, it's okay. No, no I just don't need to go home. Oh god, their camp is literally just up the road. That would be why there's a lot of them. Well, we've had first contact. It didn't go swimmingly. Right, we are really, really thirsty, though. So that, that's... To, right, we need to... Okay, let's just sleep. New dawn, new day. New dawn, new day. New dawn, new day. New dawn, new day. Save the game. Oh, yeah, we need to leave here. We can't be here for too much longer. But this many of them now paying a visit... And they've captured me, and have escaped, and they're probably pissed by it. I was right. We couldn't hang around here too much longer. But before I went off in exploration for the site for our new forever home, I wanted to explore more of this area of the island. And this took us back in the same direction which we had taken earlier today. I want to check the top part of this rock face. We've walked along the bottom until we found the duct tape on the beach. But I want to kind of have a gander and see what's along this top part. The only thing I'm conscious of is that a little bit further the way down, I think we saw a campfire. Ooh. God, this game is beautiful, though. I mean, look at it. It looks so real. And I think that really, really adds to... I've said this before. The most, the most important thing in video games, in my opinion, is atmosphere and immersion. So, not every game tries to be realistically immersive, but some games will be immersive, like, in a non-realistic way, if that makes sense. But having atmosphere and immersion, I think, can just completely pull you into a video game. And that's where you, you know, you know when you get those gaming sessions? Well, you lock in. You think you've maybe been playing for an hour and a half and you look in, it's three to five business days later and it's like, Ooh. that for me is the, the immersion and the atmosphere in the game. For me, the atmosphere brings the immersion. You know what I mean? But for games like this, like Sons of the Forest and the Forest, and I, and I think maybe horror. I, is this class? This isn't a horror game as per. I would say this is more of a survival than a horror game for me. 
like horror games are outright kind of like visage, 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 um, outlast, those sort of things. But this does have horror elements to it. But what I like about what this game brings and the forest brings is that you've got these freaky cannibals. And if you're really bad at horror like I am, it's it's definitely scary. Um, but it, br it brings a gravitas to the building mechanics. You have a reason to build. And it's not just the, the, the what I would say. I know they're not real people, but for me, it's kind of like a PvE, PvP kind of thing. I feel like I'm actually fighting other people. Look at that. What's that? What's that question mark? You see it? Let's go have a look at that. But it gives me a reason to want to build, to want to get my defenses up sort of thing. I like that. And I think maybe that's something that is missing for me when I usually play games that are PvP based. So, say for example, Ark. The base building was hella fun, but nothing ever attacked it because I wasn't playing PvP. But in this, I'm like, oh shit. Oh, oh I didn't put Kelvin to stay at home, by the way. Ellie! No! That was the... No! Oh my god, we're that close! No, 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 no! <laughs> yes! Please! How do you not see that? How do you not see that? Take me! <laughs> oh, what's that down there? Take me! Is it circling? Do I go down? How do I get down there quickly? No, 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 no. Ah. If I had the option and it came to pick me up to complete the game, I'd do it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's only because I know we're going to go through an almighty amount of pain. So, okay. We can't get the... um. We can't get the heli, but maybe we can figure out the reason why it was here in the first place. Tree stump or a. Oh! That was a dead guy. What the. F what the f. GP. Oh! Another cooking pot. What is that thing? Are you dead? Oh, are they the ones that live in the caves? Oh! A crossbow. Bolt, not a crossbow. That's sad. What's this? Oh, a grenade? Oh, we can't get him on C4 bricks. A silencer. Cereal. Look at all of this. Got some medicine. Are they empty bottles of water, I'm guessing? Money symbols and a no. What does that mean? People coming in to... Oh my god, yes. To farm, like, resources for money? Bags of something there. Laptop. I'd take the laptop, surely. Oh shit. Oh god. What the hell happened here? Dimensional disturbance. We did detect an unusual burst seven months ago. Readings were similar to what we would see in a brief dimensional shift switch. What? That's the island one now. Oh, I see, I see. Right, that's an island. I thought that's a feckin' drone. Oh, you're having a giggle. I can't take it, but I can take this. Hoodie. More money things. I don't know what. Oh god, there's another dead one here. Look. Oh shit. Oh fuck. They're, they're here. They're here. Look. Look. I've seen something on the mini map. I've seen something on the mini map. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's the paraglider. It's the paraglider. Watch this. Let's get away from here. How does this work again? Oh god. I forget how this works. I think we just jump. Do we definitely get everything? Oh. oh shit, no, 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 no. How many are there? No, we got some good stuff. No, we can't afford to be taken here. 
No. Oh. Ah. Squeaky bomb time. Ah. Oh, we're doing it. We're flying. Yes. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so much quicker. <laughs> Come on. Oh, imagine dropping here, though. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. The only thing... I think you have to wear this all the time. If I remember last time I played, you have to wear this all the time to be able to... Um... So if I go inland... No, we don't, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to accidentally drop. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Look at this, troops. Look at this. We've got two camps in a row down there. <laughs> This map is so big! And our home should be... Somewhere. Oh, right here. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hold on! Hold on! Hold on! How the hell does this go down? Ah, go down! Oh. I'm okay? No damage? <laughs> okay, right. Okay, good. Come on. We've got a paraglider. <gasps> we carry you. I thought if we needed to use it. We had to carry it, like, in it the whole time. But we don't. It's a foldable... Oh. That was cool. Lots of progression. Loads of progression. <laughs> it sure would be a shame if anything came along and ruined my day. Do it. Are we at that point where I'm just going to have to try and kill them all now? I'm hoping the stun button might... Oh, there's another one. No, that's the same one. I'm hoping the stun button might knock him out. Do I try it? Come on, come a little bit closer. I dare you. I dare you. <sighs> Fuck. The twins. No, what? Oh my god. Why didn't the stun bath on stun? <gasps> I died. I'm not restarting. Oh, you're joking. Oh, did I save? Did I save when I came back? Did I save? Did I save? Did I save? Did I save? Please tell me I saved. Please, 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 please tell me I saved. Please tell me I saved. I saved, right? I would have saved. After getting all of that progress, I would have saved, right? I wouldn't have been stupid. I wouldn't have been stupid and not saved. I would have 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 saved. Is the glider there? Save the game. How many times have we been through this? But let's not get too depressy and regretty, as we had too much stuff to be getting on with. I went all the way back to the camp, looted everything, grabbed the gliding, came all the way back, and then set off on another adventure. This time, we saw something unusual through the trees. Something definitely not natural, and something very red. Oh! What? A care package. Oh my god, you're alive! Hello!
The timing on that. Oh, duct tape. No. No. You couldn't hang on, hang on just a little while. Oh. A massive axe. Oh, this is going to be huge. I think this, this makes it easier to chop trees down, which we're going to be doing a lot of. Oh! Piss off. Quick, get everything and leave. What do we have? Is that another note? Uh, who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. I don't know who Jack Holt is. Wait. 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 Where's my big axe? Put that at one. Okay, more duct tape. We might be able to make a bow now. We might be able to make a bow. We've got some soda. More food. Booze. We need to make some Molotovs. In fact, I'm going to make a couple now. While I've got some cloth. And then I can... Then I can... Pick this up. Never mind, it's disappeared from the face of the earth. Okay. Okay. You might say that stumbling across this axe, which was going to massively help us, was a happy little accident. Please subscribe. But having this axe was going to be no use to us if we didn't find a suitable base location so that we could start building for real. On our map, we had seen an interesting looking location. A lake with what seemed to be a small island in the middle. Was that pink thing where we just come from? The exclamation mark? I think it w was it? Maybe it wasn't. Oh, wait, do we have time? Oh, we could, we could do a little expedition here though. Of, um, staying out and just building a, like a, 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 another tarp shelter for the night. This would be cool, um, in terms of the island, however, it'd be quite difficult to get to and from to build on. That'd be quite frustrating. Great for protection, but not great for getting anywhere. Let me just go have a look on the island just in case there's something. Fuck. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Tinned food, canned food, and cloth. That was it. Not, not a big fan of that big, big camp over there, though. Right, um, as nice as this place was, I didn't get the vibe from it enough to call it our new home. But I didn't want to go trekking all the way back just to sleep, so we decided to camp here for the night and carry on our journey in the morning. We built a small shelter and a campfire, and we managed to get through the night undisturbed. In the morning, we crafted ourselves a wooden bow which would help us in killing small rodents and maybe some cannibals. I was pretty sure that I was near the beach which had the machete on it, so we glided on over to the beach and hoped that we wouldn't fail in finding the machete for the second time. Oh, no, it is, it is, it is, it's not boats, it's dinghies. Down we go. Please don't die, please don't die. Glider dropped. Does this break? I really hope this doesn't break. Oh, there's another guy! Please don't die as soon as I get here. Medicine, do you need medicine? No, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me just save the game now. Hold on. Ramen? Fuck's sake. Oh, it is! Oh, it's changed where it is, though. Now, it's not a machete, is it? I remember getting a bit of pelters. It's a kukri. No, it's a machete. They changed the name. Somebody shouted at me like some oysters. Oh, story time, story time with Butch. I, I eat anything. I'm very proud. I'm the least fussiest eater on the planet. I will try everything. Sometimes I get sad, but then I think about that there's food out there in the world that I haven't tried yet, and it makes me happy. So. 2021, I am on a family holiday, my last holiday, on the Isle of Skye, which is an island on the west coast of Scotland. Absolutely beautiful. 
And we go in there, and one of my favorite foods is seafood. I love it. Sushi, sensational. Fish, sensational. Shellfish, sensational. And we get there, and my dad's like, Ben, why don't we try oysters? And I'm like, sure, dad. I'd love to try oysters with you. So we go to this place, and I'm thinking, it, 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 surely it's going to be nice. I know they don't look the best, but surely it's going to be nice. And it's, they were in this place called the Oyster Shack. Some of you guys maybe have been there. And they serve these like these fresh oysters and everything. And we got like a little platter, and it's like taste ones. And some of them you have just lemon juice in. What Some of them I think was Tabasco. One was cranberry juice. I can't remember the other. I think I just went with a lemon one. I was kind of not nervous, but I was like, oh, this doesn't look great, but I'm sure I'll give it a go. <clears throat> Even talking about it now. I had the shell. And if you've not seen an oyster, it has a mucus-like viscosity to it. And I held it up to my mouth. You put it in, and then what you're supposed to do is just go, and you know it. <laughs> and you knock it back. The second that this fucking thing touched my tongue, I was, oh, did I spit it out? Or no, I swallowed it. I, 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 I can't do this. I swallowed it and instantly I knew this isn't good. This isn't good. Now, the Isle of Skye is very, very remote. So we had a long drive back and I travel really, really badly at the best of times. Like I'm a bad um, passenger. I get really bad motion sickness and um, all this way back. And then we, we got back into the lodge that we were staying and I was like, I just need to go and lie down. And, and you know, okay, Ben, yeah, you just go and have a lie down, no problem. And I lay down for a bit. And you know when you're fighting, you, you, you know when you know that you're going to be sick. You have that feeling, your mouth starts salviating, but then you become anxious about being sick. Like, being anxious about being sick is more, is worse than actually being sick, in my opinion. And I was there, and I was like, I'm going to do it. Oh, okay, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And then you do that kind of humble shuffle to the toilet. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, hands on the hips, just like, just, just, you just got to let it go. But you know that the second you adopt the position, do you know what position I'm talking about, which is when you're on your hands and knees, the, the second that I kind of bent over, I became like an angry cat. I was like, it was like, and just like, it was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. I didn't bring any water with me, did I? Can I fill up from seawater on there? No. Um, but yeah, I, I tore all my intercostal muscles from retching. I was sick numerous times because my dad thought it would be a great idea while this is happening and he made scallops and black pudding. So I got the seafood smell that just came through and just kept making me sick. So there you go. Story time with Butch is officially over. I am sure your lives are all much better having heard the tragic tale of Butch and the oyster. But let us move on now with our machete in hand. We searched and searched for a new spot to call home and nothing seemed to really hit the spot. That was until we went further inland, closer towards the base of the mountain. Here, we discovered a very small lake or a pond. Now I come to think of it, when does a pond become a lake? Wait, when does a puddle become a pond? Well, whilst you are busy pondering that, we found a spot which might just do the trick. And that is when it happened. The moment you have all been waiting for since seeing the title of this video. Strap yourselves in. What the fuck? Oh, a moose. <sighs> hey, all right, listen. Listen. I woke up this morning 
and I had breakfast. Well, what did you have for breakfast, Butch? I had three Weetabixes. I don't know what they are, if you have them in America or not. All you need to know is that they have a lot of fiber in them. I had three of them with about 300 milliliters of milk. I then had a can of Monster for breakfast. On, on, on my life. That was the closest I have ever come to shitting myself without actually shitting. I, I let off the biggest fucking fart when that mix came. And that's why I had to leave because I was like, I need to go drop a deuce. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. I was so vulnerable. I didn't have the chance to clench before I screamed and bad things happened. Millimeters, folks. Millimeters from disaster. But things didn't really improve from here. We had found a suitable base location. There was a decent area of flat land, a drop on one side which would be difficult for anything to get up, a pond nearby for water, a river nearby for fish, and plenty of trees for wood. The problem was that cannibals and moose seemed to like this spot too. It'll keep the... the oh, for fuck's sake. Piss off! Shit, I missed. But I don't want you here. Okay. Oh, oh shit! We definitely gonna need some moose protection around these parts. Right, now what we do... Shit, man! Oh my god, it does attack me! You... You do attack me! Okay, shit, no, fuck this. Right, go home. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, we're gonna get Kelvin. We're gonna get Kelvin, we're gonna come back and we're gonna stop. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I don't have any medicine. Just run, just run, just run, just run. A good base location, a bad time for enemies. But I was done searching and I was determined to make it work. We went back home to collect Kelvin so we could escort him to our new home and then proceeded to get raided by a bunch of angry cannibals. <gasps> oh shit! Shit! Oh fuck! We've been attacked! Oh my god! Piss off, piss off, spooky! Oh, oh they can open doors! They can open doors! They can open doors! They can open doors! so underprepared. Is Kelvin okay? <sighs> Shit! Oh no. I'm dead dead, aren't I? I'm dead dead. Am I dead dead? I'm dead dead. Fuck! Oh my god, they came through that defensive wall so quickly. Oh, the feck in here. Piss off. I'll use the Molotovs if I have to. I don't know what I'm doing. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh that's it. Die. Oh, shit. I don't know how many arrows I have. Not enough. Get this out. Quick, quick. Get the arrows back. Are you dead yet? You're not dead. He's 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 dead. Where's the other ones? You're not dead yet. Die. Okay. He's out. He's out. I think he's dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's absolutely dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's dead. Got him. Oh, what's that? Oh, the loot. They're like loot boxes. The the skin pouches. They have items and that in them. Okay, now I can save the game, surely. What I was going to do here was make a bit of a platform so I could look over and shoot, but that might not be necessary now. Save the game. Save the game. And then look, we get these and the skin pouches. 
You put them here and you open them and you get and you get gear. Kinda weird. Not complaining in the slightest though. We had successfully dispatched the cannibal invaders and been rewarded with some good loot. Now that the coast was clear, we escorted Kelvin up to the new base location and hastily gathered the resources needed to build a small shelter. This wouldn't provide any protection, but at least we would be able to save the game as we began to build our new home. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. It's going to have to be a cliffhanger moment here. I know. Apologies. But we've uh, we've managed to do a little bit today. We've managed to get ourselves some decent equipment. We've managed to get some paragliders. We haven't thrown it a couple of times. We've got the Kukri. We've got the flashlight. What else did we get? I feel like there was something else that we got. Um, but we have found our new base location. Is he going to jump at me again? We have found a new base location. So next episode tomorrow is all about build, 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 build. But thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video at any point, please hit that like button if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed and you're watching one of my YouTube outros, need I say more? But most importantly, troops, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.